The signs are clear. Signs that the community of North Bay doesn't want its junior hockey team to go. But the team owners felt they couldn't score with the fans or the city any longer. So they sold the team to a group from Saginaw, Michigan. Well, the owners, uh, Ted Thompson and, and Bill Finnis, had been basically suffering some serious financial losses for about seven consecutive years. And so, um, you know, a after a while, I think there's, there's a breaking point for any, any private businessman. And uh, I think reality, reality finally struck. I think there are a lot of hockey fans in North Bay. But fans of hockey would watch a game anytime. Look, uh, uh, the, the, the bottom line is we haven't been getting the support. And, and maybe the Ontario Hockey League is outgrowing the city of North Bay. You cannot keep expecting people like Ted and I to, 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 to face up to $200,000, $250,000 losses a year. I think that's the, the main reason that people are so upset in the sense that if the city and uh, the community have been given a chance to uh, try to come up with a, another group to uh, save the Centennials, keep them here in town, we wouldn't be going through all this and people wouldn't be as mad as they are. But I think uh, people are feeling quite betrayed in the fact that uh, this was done uh, without any warning. I guess it didn't come as a, a total shock or surprise to us. We knew they were on kind of shaky ground for the last little while. Um, Still, I guess when it actually was announced, we were kind of taken aback because there had been absolutely no suggestions uh, from the ownership beforehand that anything like this was in the offing. Anyone can afford to go to a few hockey games. You take this away and there's a lot of people who, what little recreation they do in the winter is gone. That's, it wouldn't be right. It's Canadian, it's Ontario. Um, like, what were they thinking? I don't understand. But only days after the announcement, a local group looks to drum up enough support to equal Saginaw's offer and keep the team in North Bay. Well, we started this uh, as soon as we heard the announcement uh, that it was sold, and uh, we didn't want to go down without a fight. I caution everybody that $3 million is a very big number, and uh, we have people who have come forward and pledged 2.1 million uh, based on a solid business plan which I think I can give them. I think it means something to be an alumni of this team because uh, we've been here 20 years. Uh, we've got a lot of great players that have come through here and now play in the NHL. We've got a lot of great guys that didn't play in the NHL so I think it's very important not only in hockey terms but as a community that we save this team. Things look good for the locals. Within two weeks, more than 2,500 season tickets are sold. A better arena agreement with the city is made. Now the only thing in their way is getting the rest of the money and convincing the OHL governors that the sense should be here to stay. We've run some things through our, our head, you know, with hindsight, how it would have played out if we, if we would have done things differently. I, I, I think that sometimes, uh, I think sometimes a community might need a crisis to rally to rally support and I, I really believe it, it had to take and not that this was premeditated in any way but I think it almost had to take this crisis to really get the community excited and, and interested again in, in their major junior hockey team. But in mid-January when the OHL votes on the sale they put the decision off for another month giving the locals more time to find the investors and equal the 3.1 million dollar price tag. But on February 12th, the sale to Saginaw is approved by the Ontario Hockey League. Uh, we were a million dollars shy uh, as of last night. And um, uh, you know, we were working diligently up until last night um, uh, with a, a couple of different scenarios with different uh, individuals, uh, not local people. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, uh, I, I just couldn't get it done. Reaction continues to pour in over the centennial sale and move to Michigan. He said it best yesterday at the press conference, junior hockey dead in the city of North Bay. As a league, we're Ontario. Uh, we never say Ontario. Ontario. 
Western Ontario and Northern Ontario. That's not in our vocabulary. We're, we're one league, and uh, that was never discussed. Uh, it was never an issue. And uh, we, we recognize the importance of, of Ontario and, and the markets with, within our, our territory, and, and we'll continue to recognize and, and hopefully be successful in the markets we're in. I hope that um, they're not doing it purposely to take the hockey out of the north because I think it's just it's such a great development program that they have up here. Well, personally, I kind of want to be a goalie when I grow up, so I won't like have anything to look up to or somewhere to go when I want like some support from like our, our local team. I think it's going to be pretty hard. I mean, uh, I grew up watching them, and uh, I mean the Centennial players were role models to me, and I know. Uh, a lot of kids in the area are going to miss the team and they're going to miss watching the players and saying, wow, if I keep working hard, maybe I can get up there one day. At the first game after the final announcement, reality is setting in. Well, it's devastating. It really is. My son and I were talking last night and uh, we've, what we're going to do is if we can get open tickets down in Saginaw, we're going to a four or five day trip down in Saginaw to see them. And I'll be going like this with my North Bay stuff on to let the fans down there know it. You know, we're still with this team no matter what. And I'll talk to the fans down there and tell them, don't let this team get away, we let it get away. I'll sort of let it slip through the, the cracks. Don't you people do it. I don't know what we're going to do next year on Fridays and Saturdays. It sucks. I mean, there's not much else to say. It just sucks. There's not going to be an OHL team here next year. 